Hey guys, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to multiply decimals. Multiplying decimals is super easy. I'll show you in a few moments exactly what we do, but we first need to make sure that you can remember how to multiply numbers from earlier grades. For example, if we have 32 multiplied by 24, remember in earlier grades where we would have a 32 and then a 24 like this, and then a multiply. So we would always start with this number multiplied by that number, which is eight. Then we would move on to this number multiplied by that number. So it was always that one first, and then we do that one second, okay? And so what is three multiplied by four? 12. Now normally you would put a two and then you would carry the one over, but because we are at the end over here, we can put the full number. Then remember, we always have to put a zero. Now we're gonna go, so you see what we've done? We took that one first, then we did that one second. Now we're gonna go like that, that one first and that one second. So it's these two with that number, and then it's these two with that number. Okay, so now we, we've done this one. So now we're gonna go this way. So what is two times two? Four. Then what is three times two? Six. Now we add. So what is eight plus zero? Eight. What is two plus four? Six. What is one plus six? Seven. So the answer is 768. That is what we need to know because with decimals, it's pretty much gonna be exactly that. And then I'll show you what to do with the decimals. It's really easy. So all you're gonna do is the following. All I want you to do is put a little, um, just put a little line at the end and put a little line at the end. Now, just count how many places from that line to the decimal, one, two, and for this one, one. So how many is that in total? Well, it's two for this one and one for that one, so that is a total of three. Okay, so just remember that at the end. Now, you can completely ignore the decimal. So now we can just say two, five, six, two, four, multiplied by 16. Go ahead, let's do that. So, two, five, six, two, four, multiplied by 16. Okay, so we're gonna take all of these numbers and multiply all of them with the number um, six. So that one, that one, that one, it's gonna go to there, and all of them are gonna multiply with the number six, okay? So four times six is 24. So I put the four here, and then the two carries over. Now, two times six is 12, plus two, is 14, so I put the four here and the one here. Now I go six times six is 36, plus one is 37, so I put the seven here and the three here. And now I go five times six, which is 30, plus the three gives me 33, so I put the three here and this three over here. And then two multiplied by six is 12, 12 plus three, is 15, so normally I'd put a five here and then the one would carry, but because I'm at the end, I can just put 15. Now, all of this can erase. We now go to the next step where I have to put a zero. Now we're gonna take all of these numbers again and we're gonna multiply it by this one. So four times one is four, two times one is two, six times one is six, five times one is five, and two times one is two. Go ahead, add all of this together. So four, eight, seven plus two is nine, three plus six is nine, five plus five is 10, so I put a one here and a one here. One plus one is two, two plus two is four. Now remember the three decimals. All you do now is you go from the back and you just go three places, one, two, three. So the answer is 409,988. Four. Now we're just gonna do a whole bunch of examples. So here's the next one. Just go ahead, count the decimals. So from here, so one, two, and then for this one, it's one. So that's a total of three. So let's just remember that. Now you can ignore all of these numbers, those decimals completely. So now the question just becomes five, four, six, two, one, multiplied by 56. Okay, so let's write that over here. Five, four, six, two, one, multiply 56. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit faster now. So one times six is six, two times six is 12, 
6 times 6 is 36, because it's those two, plus the 1, that'll give us 37. 4 times 6, 24, plus 3, 27. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32. Remember the 0? Now we're going to do all of these numbers with this one. So what is 1 times 5? 5. What is 2 times 5? 10. So I put the 0 here and the 1 here. What is 6 times 5? 30. Plus 1 is 31. 4 times 5? 20. Plus 3 is 23. And then 5 times 5? 25. Plus 2 is 27. Go ahead, add. So what is 6 plus 0? 6. 2 plus 5? 7. 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 2 plus 3? 5. 3 plus 7 is 10. And then 2 plus 1 is 3. Now, remember this, just go from the end and just go back. 1, 2, 3, and put a decimal. So your answer is 3058,776. Now, we've got some really interesting ones coming up where we're going to have a whole bunch of zeros like that. So, yeah, stick around, some good stuff coming up. So, with this one, have a look here. If we count from the back, you must always count from the back, okay? Don't count from the front. So if you count from the back, 1, 2, and then for this one, 1, 2. So what is 2 plus 2? 4. Just remember that. Now, just go write out the numbers. Now, what is this? 0, 0, 8. Well, if you have zeros in front like that, just take them out. And so there's our new question. So we're just going to go 1, 5, 2, 3, 4, multiply by 8. And so 4 multiplied by 8 is 32. 3 multiplied by 8, 24, plus 3 is 27. 2 multiplied by 8 is 16, plus 2 is 18. 5 multiplied by 8 is 40, plus 1 is 41. And then 1 multiplied by 8 is 8, plus 4 is 12. Now, go back four places from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So your answer is 12, 1872. So with this one, look at the decimals. So start here, go 1, 2, 3. Okay, so it's 3 for that one. And 1, 2. So what is 3 and 2? 5. Now you can just write out the new question. Whoops, that's a 4. And so now you can just go write it out as 0, 0, 0, 4 multiplied by 0, 0, 2. But remember, these zeros in the front, we can actually just ignore those now. So it's actually just 4 times 2. What is 4 times 2, guys? That's 8. Now... You start from here and you go five places back. This might seem a bit weird. One, two, three, four, five. Put your decimal over there. Now, in each of these little buckets, go put a zero. So, whoopsie. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in each of those little buckets, put a zero. There we go. Now... You never want to have this empty in front of a decimal, so just put another zero, and there is your answer. Okay, so with this one, I'm sure you're getting the idea now. So you start at the back, and you count one, two, three, four, five. So there's five decimals there, and then start at the back, one, two, three, four. So there's four decimals there, so what is five plus four? Nine. Okay, now you can just get rid of those things there, and now you can just write down the number. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four. But now two zeros in the front like this, we can ignore that. So it's actually just eight multiplied by two. We already know that that is 16. So eight multiplied by two is 16. Now you're gonna go from the back and you're gonna go nine places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put your decimal there. Now, in each of those open buckets, put a zero. So there, 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 there. So your number now looks like that. But then you don't want to have this empty, so just put a zero. So that's your answer. Okay, here's a nice easy one. So uh, you count from the back, that's one decimal there. You count from the back here, that's one, two decimal places there. So it's one decimal place there, two decimal places there. If you add those numbers together, that's three. Now, go rewrite the numbers down, but take away all the decimals. Now, any zeros like that in the front, you can actually just ignore those. So we actually just have 4 multiplied by 3, which we all know is 12. Then, just go from the back and go 3 decimal places back. 1, 
two, three. Put your decimal. Now any open buckets, put a zero, okay? And so that's what you now have. And then you never wanna have this part in the front of the decimal empty, so just put a zero. So there's your answer, 0 0.012.